speaking of older adults, we are busting baby boomer myths with baby boomer advocate and author of the book, Facelifts, Money, and Prince Charming, Break Baby Boomer Myths and Live Your Best Life. We have Joni Marks. It's so nice to have you here on the show, Joni. And um, tell me a little more about your book, though. What motivated you to actually write this? Well, because as a Hollywood actress, you know, I felt like I was not getting any parts and that older people are becoming much less visible in our society. So instead of trying to rearrange the deck chairs on the Titanic, <laughs> I, I, I wrote this book because I was also motivated by a sorority sister who was uh, widowed. And I said, how is your life coming? And she said, what new life? I, I, I haven't had a facelift. Mm -hmm. I don't have money to attract a suitor. So there's no Prince Charming in my life. So out of the research for my book is where the seven baby boomer myths came, which were handed down by our grandparents to our parents to us and you know to the younger generations about how things are supposed to be is aging a disease is self-love a myth can youth be reclaimed after 55 does happiness have an expiration date these are just a few of the questions best-selling author hollywood actress and baby boomer advocate joni mcgranny marks boldly addresses in her riveting and emotionally powerful presentations you know how you can flip through a calendar and just certain dates just stand out because they have significance for you? For me, November the 8th never did. Until this night, Monday at 11.25 p.m. to be exact, when I find myself under the blaze of emergency room lights in a hypertensive crisis. My blood pressure is 240 over 120. This is not a good number. Normal is 120 over 80, not 240 over 120, which is in the red zone at the top of the scale, and a little blood trickles out of my nose. Now, seeing your own blood when it is unexpected is scary. And I, I take off my shoes and I put on the gown, and the nurse attaches electrodes to my chest for the continuous EKG, and a blood pressure cuff is wrapped around my arm that inflates automatically every few minutes, and she puts a pill under my tongue to dilate my blood vessels and says, little lady, we are admitting you to this hospital if your blood pressure doesn't come right down. So I lay there shaking. My heart is pounding, but I pretend to be calm, and me? I'm discharged at 4 a.m. in the morning, and I drive away with a handful of pills that can't fix my mother or restore the illusion of my marriage. I just chose the caring attention of strangers over my own husband. I, 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 I really have to change my life, but, and then, I hear my mother's voice in my head say, Joni, my little girl, you were born under a lucky star. You change what you must. You can do this. You deserve to be happy, sweetie. Ah, oh, Ma, thank you. Joni's engaging presentations are based on her best-selling and acclaimed book, Facelifts, Money, and Prince Charming, Break Baby Boomer Myths, and Live Your Best Life. With her natural gift for storytelling, each presentation is an unforgettable performance as Joni brilliantly weaves in the complex and emotionally charged relationships we have with our parents, society, and ourselves. At the same time, she shows audiences how to live their best life, by debunking the seven mythical claims that there is not enough love, happiness, and success to go around. Hi, my friends and family call me McGranny, but don't let my name fool you. When it comes to being a baby boomer, we are far from the old decrepit person the 55 and older crowd has been portrayed in commercials and in the media. The image the media has sold to the world of a baby boomer isn't even close to being accurate. And I'm here to prove it. When my friends and I look at commercials and advertisements that seem to portray baby boomers as slow, elderly, and obsolete, well, yeah, we're left scratching our head wondering, who do these companies think they're advertising to? Our parents and our grandparents? It certainly isn't us. 
We are the market of today, not an afterthought. We are today's generation. This is our story, this is our voice, and this is our time. A graduate of the University of California, Berkeley with a degree in psychology, the multifaceted career of Joni Marks has spanned both the world of entertainment and business. She has worked as a full-time actress for nearly 30 years, co-starring in dozens of television programs, films, stage plays, and national commercials. And along the way, she has also founded and sold a multi-million dollar company. Far from the slow and elderly person the 55 and older crowd has been portrayed in the media, Joni's inspirational presence and timely message redefines not only what it means to be a baby boomer, but how to live your best life when it counts. So great to get the opinion of a real bird expert. Oh, well, I just have a few bird feeders. Mary, did you know that birds migrate back to the north in the spring? Well, of course. Spring is a wonderful time for birds. Yeah, but what if spring happens because the birds migrate back? Hmm? Well, what? I'm willing to bet that you know a brand that's looking to reinvent itself with the baby boomer market. So if you have a client that would like to tap into an audience that has as much money and influence as we do, listen closely, because I'm about to share a McGranny secret. We are more active, wiser, and have far more influence financially than any previous generation in history. We are believed to be the most influential group in the entire world, and for good reason. We have $2.3 trillion of disposable income to spend on the people and the brands we love. So, who are we? We are baby boomers. If you're watching this video, you already know the importance of creating a memorable event. So get more than just another speaker. Book Joni Marks as your next speaker today. Your audience will thank you for it. 